Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong using Hong Kong old style scoring. If you have your own set, you can do this exercise too. It's a really great practice. I'm going to choose a fawn minimum. So I have two, three, and four fawn here. So I'm just gonna pick one. Four fawn. We have a four fawn minimum. Okay, here we go. I've got these risers here so that you can see the tiles. And then I'm gonna place exposures to the right. So east will be on this table level and their exposures will be to the bottom right. The south hand will be to the upper right for, let's see, west will be the bottom left and for north will be the upper left. So east, south, west, north. East gets 14 tiles. Four, four, three, three. Okay, so there's east tiles right there. Now let's do south. And now west. Okay, there's west and north. And all the other tiles are behind here, just randomly on the table. We'll just pick from there and not build a wall. It's just a little easier that way, I think. Okay, there's everybody's tiles. We have a four fawn minimum. So let's see what we're gonna be playing here. East, got a flower. Let me scooch back a little bit. Let's see. There we go. That's a little better. So East got a flower. So I'm just gonna put that over here. For flower, we're gonna replace it. They got a nine bam. So if we have a four fawn minimum, I'm thinking they should probably play a half flush. Let's see what they have the most of. Looks like bams. But they do have a lot of honors. Okay, so I would get rid of the cracks, play half flush with bams. They do have a potential chow, potential chow. So I probably would do chows here, a mixture, chows and pongs, half flush. Okay, let's see what South has. Okay, South has two. One of them is their seat. So we're gonna get a replacement for South. Okay, ooh, it's east round, by the way. We're just gonna say east round. So they have a pair of east, that's a good fawn right there. So right now they have their own flower because east is one, south is two, west is three, north is four. So if I pung that, that'll give them a fawn. So we need three fawns somewhere else. So they have a dragon, they have three bams, they have four cracks and three dots. So I'm thinking they should be in cracks and honors. Let's just see what happens there. So they have their seat wind, potential fawn with the um, east, and then a half flush is three fawn. So let's see what west has. Okay, no flowers. 
just a couple of bams so we can get rid of the bams. They do have a pair of ones here. So they might be able to play all pung, which is three fawn. They would have to come up with another fawn. Right now they have no flowers, so they might be able to get away with no flowers. All pung is three fawn. We have two, two pair to work with here. And then no flowers is another fawn. If they draw a flower though, and it's not their seat wind, then they have to come up with another fawn somewhere. So I would throw these away first. Hope for half flush, which is three fawn. No flowers, which is another fawn. If we pair up, we could play all pong. So let's see now what North has. Okay, North has dragons. It's kind of nice. They've got lots of dots. They should play a half flush, I think. There, half flush with dots. Get rid of these. They also have no flowers, so that's a fawn. Half flush, no flowers, that's four fawn. So we're ready to go now. East will discard. So we'll discard a three crack for East, and it is, it's going to be at this point, South's turn. They drew a three flower. That's not their flower, but it will keep West from getting a point for that. So they drew a green dragon. That's nice. Now they have a potential pung here. Potential pung, half flush. So we'll just throw. At this point, it's arbitrary which you discard. You just have to get started. We'll just throw the three bam. And now it's West's turn. West drew a two. Their suit is dots. So we're just going to throw a one bam. Actually, I was thinking maybe we should keep the one. Maybe we could end up in uh, some kind of honors hand. I don't think that all honors includes is included in Hong Kong scoring. All honors is four pungs and a pair of winds and dragons. There is a hand called all terminals, but we'd have to, terminals are ones and nines. We'd have to throw away a pair of eights. I think I'd still hold that one bam. Let's throw the two bam. And now it's North's turn. Three dot, nice. We'll throw the six crack. And now it's East turn. They drew a nine crack, that's not helpful. So we'll throw it, nine crack. And draw for South. They got a South, that's their seat wind. If they can get a pone of that, then that would be a fawn also. Let's throw the six bam. Draw for West. They drew a two dot. That's their suit. So that's good right there, two dot. Let's throw the six bam. There was already one out. And we'll draw here for North. Drew a West, so they're moving into their half flush very nicely. We'll throw a three bam. Now this player here can chow. Let's go ahead and chow for East. They're playing half flush, so a chow is not going to hurt their score. Even though chows do not bring any score in and of themselves, it will help them get to a half flush. So we have a chow out there for east. We're going to throw away a five crack now. So now we're going to draw for south. South got a six dot. That's not helpful, although now they're in between cracks and dots. Let's go ahead and get rid of the 8 bam. Nobody can take the 8 bam. So we will draw for West. West just got their own flower. So I'm going to put that over here and draw for them. A 1 bam. Looks like all terminals might come in. I don't know. All pung is 3 fawn. They have their own flower now. So that's another fawn. So if they go for all pung, that would be four fawn with their flower. So that's what they need to do. So they'll be punging these. If you pung and mix suits, that's okay because that's a three fawn combination. So that's not bad. Let's throw the two crack. 
two crack. So you'd think, well, actually this player's not ready on a two crack. Okay, now it's North's turn. Seven crack, that's not a keeper. So we'll throw that and draw for East. East drew a North. Let's get rid of a seven crack and draw for South. South got their own flower, a two, two. They have two of their own flowers now. We'll get a replacement. They drew a five dot. So at this point they have more dots than they do cracks. Here's a chow, chow. They do have two fawn, but they need two fawn somewhere else. They don't have these two yet. So I still think they should play a half flush. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, the one crack and we'll draw now for West, but West is going to pong the one crack. So I'll put that out, take the one crack and discard seven crack and draw for North. North drew a North. We'll discard a four bam. Four bam is a, uh, East can chow. We're going to chow that four bam and discard an eight crack. Now let's draw for south. Seven dot. That's nice. That's a good keeper. They can chow, chow, chow. They could even pung here. Of course, pung these. Let's get rid of the two crack. So they're now in a half flush with dots. We can draw for west. They got a one dot, that's nice. So they have one cracks, one, one. It'd be nice to pair up that nine dot and we could play all terminals, but I don't know. That's kind of a long shot because we would need another terminal in order to make it work. Each set and the pair has to be a one or nine. That would be a special hand though. That's, I believe, a 10 fawn hand. It is 10 fawn hand. I think they should still play all pung. Let's get rid of the two dot. Two dot. Now north, let's see what they have here. They have a one, two, three, three, four, five. They could take that two dot and make a, ch a chow here with a two, three, four, or even a one, two, three. Right here, they could make a one, two, three and be left with a two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and chow right here. So we'll chow for north. So they have, let's see here. Oops, that was the wrong. North is over here. They still have no flowers. So right now they have one fawn for no flowers and three fawn for half flesh. We'll go ahead and throw that eight bam. Nobody's ready for an eight bam, so we'll draw for east, two bam. All right, now there are no two, no, there's one two bam out. There's no potential chows here. Let's throw the two bam and we'll go ahead and draw for south. Eight crack, that's not a keeper. There's already one out anyway. We'll draw for west. Oh, they got a west. Wow, that's really nice because they're going to play all pung. We can get rid of these now over here. So they just need to pung. That's their seat wind, east, south, west. If they get a pung, a pung of that, that's that's going to be a fawn for them. So we just need to pung. Let's get rid of the three dot and we'll chow for north. Okay. So north now has two chows in dots. We're going to discard. Um, really they're getting left with a bunch of risky tiles. So I think well, let's throw the north is their seat win. So let's keep the north and throw the west. West has a west. We're going to pung for west. 
West has a pung of one cracks. Now they have a pung of West. So we can throw a five dot. So here now it's North's turn. West or South, I mean, has a lot of chow, potential chow tiles, but West can only chow from East. You can only take a chow tile from the player on your left and East is the player who would give a chow tile to South. So we're gonna draw for North. Five crack, not a keeper, and nobody can take it. So it's East turn, five crack, discard, South. Oh, you would think, well, why not take it? If they took that chow tile, the five crack, that would drive their score down by three fawn. They need to stick with half flush. Let's see, four, four, five. Okay, here we go. Nine bam, that's not a keeper. And we'll draw four west. Four crack, not a keeper. And we'll draw four north. They got a four dot, very nice. Now let's go ahead and discard the north. They're not pairing up. We'll draw for east. Nine bam, that's a keeper, that's good. Okay, we gotta get rid of some of these singles now. There is a north out already, let's throw the north. And we'll draw for south. South drew a five dot, that's nice. So they have potential pwn, Pung, potential pung, potential pung. We've got potential pung, potential pung. We've got chows in here also. So there's lots of good potential there. They just need some tiles. Let's get rid of the four crack. And we'll draw now four west. Six crack, not a keeper. Nobody's interested in that anyway. We'll draw for north. Ooh, they got a white. Okay, that's good. Let's start getting rid of these dragons at this point. We'll throw away, it doesn't really matter, the green, green dragon, and now south will take that green. So that's their first exposure, pung a green. So they have two of their own flowers and a green dragon. That's two fawn plus three fawn for a half flesh. So they're getting close to their plan here. Let's throw the six crack and it's now west turn. Six dot, that's not a keeper. They're playing all pung and mixed suits, which is fine. Let's just throw the six dot and nobody can take six dot. So we'll draw for north. Three crack, discard, draw for east. Nine dot, not a keeper. We'll discard and draw for, yeah. Nobody's ready for a nine dot. We'll draw for south, seven bam. That's not a keeper. We'll draw now for west. Ooh, eight dot, nice. And we'll throw nine dot. They're ready to win on either a one dot or an eight dot for an all pung hand. And remember they have their own flower, so that's a fawn. So they have a three fawn. They met the four fawn minimum. All pung is three fawn, their seat flower is one fawn, um, plus they have west, a pung of west, so they're gonna end up with a five fawn hand. So now it's North's turn. They got their own flower, four. That was lucky. We'll draw a replacement. They've got a five bam, that's not a keeper, so we'll throw it and draw for east. Two crack, not a keeper. Draw for south. Nine bam, not a keeper. We're gonna throw a nine bam, and now east can pung. We'll pung that. So right now, east has all, all uh, bams shown. So anytime a player has three sets of one suit, that's called gaojiang. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it means nine showing. Anytime a player has nine tiles or three sets in one suit, 
that is a, f a red flag that you don't want to throw any of that suit. So everybody needs to be on high alert throwing bands, assuming that they're in an all bam hand. In this case, they're playing a half flush. So it's not a big deal. Okay, so uh, East needs to still come up with another fawn. Right now they have half flush, which is three fawn. They have a four flower, which is not their flower. So they need a fawn somewhere. Let's throw the south, because the east and each of these dragons, if they paired up, can bring them score. Let's throw away the south. The south nobody can take, so we'll draw four south. They drew a six crack, not a keeper. We'll draw four west. Three crack, not a keeper. Draw for north. Two bam, not a keeper. Discard. Draw four east. Three crack. Discard. Draw four south. Five bam, not a keeper. Discard. Draw for west. Eight crack. Discard. North. Eight bam. East. Nine crack. They're in bam, so we're going to throw the nine crack. And draw four south. There's a keeper. Finally. Now they have to decide. So let's break this out. Here's a four, five, six, five, six, seven. Here's a potential chow. Let's throw the south. That way they're ready to win on an eight dot. And they have two of their seat, win, uh, seat flowers here to, uh, let's see, yeah, this is south. And they have a pung of a green dragons. So they have met the four fun minimum. So let's throw the, the south. They're ready on an eight dot. We're going to draw four west. Eight bam, discard. And now we're going to draw for north. They drew a one dot. So here now they have two potential chows. Let's throw the red. And we'll draw for east. Seven bam. So at this point, we still have to, they still have to come up with another fawn. Let's throw the seven bam. They need to pair up these honors. There's only one red dragon out. We're drawing here. Oh, they just got rid of that south. We'll discard it and draw for west. Seven crack. Draw for north. Eight dot. Okay, now they have to decide. They've got all these potential chows. Actually, here's a chow. One, two, three or two, three, four. Let's throw the one, two, three and discard the four. And they're ready on a seven dot because now this can be their pair. We'll throw the four dot. Nobody can take the four dot. So we'll draw for east. One crack. Oh, they have a pung of one crack. So we're going to turn that into a Kong. Take a replacement tile. Seven dot. They're in bams. Oops, no, that's not right because that one crack, that one crack was West's. <laughs> you gotta try to keep these straight. The um, East exposures are over here. So they drew a one crack. We're gonna discard the one crack and we'll draw for South. They drew a seven bam. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna throw away the nine dot because now they have a chow, chow, and now they can win on either a seven dot or an east, as opposed to a chow, which they have only one opportunity to win with that middle weight. So we're gonna throw the nine dot. Now they're ready on either an east or a seven dot. There's only one more though, because they have the other. So we'll throw the nine dot, and nobody can take a nine dot. So at this point, we'll draw four west. Three bam, discard. Draw for north. Red dragon, there's already one out. One red is out. Now we'll draw for east. White, there's their pair that they needed. They need to pung that. So we need to throw a red. There's two out already, that's a safe tile. So now it is south's turn. They drew a red, nobody wanted the, re the reds. They're all out now. And it is south or west turn. Four bam. That's not a keeper. 
will draw for north. North got a two. Let's see if that helps them at all. It really doesn't. So we just need to throw it because they're actually ready to win on a seven dot. If we kept the two, one, two, three, they would be one away. They're ready to win this way. So let's throw the two dot and draw for east. Four crack, that's not a keeper. We'll draw now for south. They drew a north. There's, I think, three norths out. So that's a safe tile. We'll draw now for west. They drew an east. That's not a keeper. And they're ready to win, so they're gonna throw it east. South has a pair. That's mahjong for, for south. Okay, so south one, mahjong. I'm just gonna turn these down. And I'll bring these up so you can see their winning hand chow chow pear pung pung and they had four flowers two of their own so they had two fawn for their flower they had three fawn for half flush so that's five they have a fawn for the wind of the round, which is east, so that's six, and they get a fawn for their dragon, so that's seven. They got a seven fawn hand. That was a nice hand. Let me know what you think about Solitaire for Hong Kong style mahjong. If you haven't tried it yourself, get out your set and give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. It's really great practice, I think. Be sure to set a fawn minimum, two, three, four. Those are kind of standard. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. After you click subscribe, click that bell. That way you can get notification when I post new videos. If you play Hong Kong style Mahjong, I wouldn't want you to miss out on any potential strategies and insights into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong style mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.